India and actually in Australia. Global reach, which is actually in six countries, India and Nepal are two of them, but we also have operations in Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and we also have our presence in uh, Sydney in Australia. Um, it's really fantastic to be here. Um, and that's the, I, I heard your introduction, but they missed out on key element. You've been a great supporter of Australian education in Nepal. We've had your presence at almost all our events. And uh, this is the second time we go at the Footwear, right? We had last night too. We had your other two events. And Ambassador, um, uh, your efforts in Nepal are uh, hugely appreciated by the uh, our education agency as well as providers. And deputy student numbers in Australia have been increasing, and quality students are now uh, choosing quality providers. Supporting all of the events in Nepal, uh, the presentation of the universities, our banks, parents, of course the school principals and the coordinators, and the winning teams, participating teams, individual winners in different categories. My global team, we are quite busy in organizing this tournament for the last three weeks. We are so busy in getting everything done in time as well as you And uh, just to speak about this initiative which we started four years back. As a part of because we wanted, we already wanted to give something back to the education sector. I have changed a little bit of scenario among the Cambridge schools. They were known that the student goes to study in the world where they wanted to study in UK or US. But in the last few years, I have seen that now the trend is getting changed. Now, students from these Cambridge schools, they are also choosing Australia at their distance. Because no doubt there is a world class in a speech in Australia at a lower cost of tuition in comparison to other countries and the resources is also very friendly, countries are also very friendly. So that is also a changing attraction from the Cambridge High Schools to other Australia and that's a good sign. That's, that's clear the value of the Australian education in that segment also. So in our this tournament, we always have 16 A-level schools who participate in our school in this tournament. We started four years back. So this is our fourth. So once again, I would like to thank everybody present here, my friends, uh, for supporting us all through our events and all our activities throughout the year. Thank you very much.
because I thought yoga was only doing education. And it's so important to have games involved in education because everybody knows that's the way I grew up. A healthy body has a healthy mind. And to encourage sporting events like what Global Reach has been doing is fantastic. I'm really, I really congratulate all the team in appreciation of um, music, good food and, and obviously sport too. So um, I think there, there's these strong affinities between um, Nepalese and Australians. We're seeing it through the, the 32,000 white Australians that, that choose to travel um, to Nepal every year. A lot of thanks to all the schools who participated in this tournament. With such a spirit and enthusiasm, the principals and the coordinator of the program for supporting their uh, students to participate in this uh, program. 
Uh, I would like to thank the supporting members who have given to me the support I have given. So my thanks goes to all of them. Uh, all the other agencies, my team, the media, I would like to thank them from the core of my heart. And uh, at the last, the parents, of course, for, uh, for your beautiful few words about yourself and the global reach. Thank you very much to you.